He's cooing at his mommy. He's adorable. Back to our stupid directions, you need some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Twitter. for juicy content. Thank you for also some it's Patreon. It's so juicy. Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the Mexican squad. If you hold the juice out long enough, it will become gelatinous. Ew. Today we're reacting to a trailer. I believe it has Uma Tuk Buk Chun. Uma Tuk Buk Chun. So that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> it's called The Last Year. That was uh, 2019. <laughs> yes. Want to read it? I do. It's this one here. The yes. last year, inspired by Utpal Dot's play, Ajkar Shahjahan, Big B plays a retired Shakespearean theater actor, heck yeah he does, who spent precisely 30 years and nine months on stage and then suddenly quit. He is convinced to take a first and last act as a cinema artist, starring Big B, Shufali Shah, Preeti Zinta, Arjun Rampo. It's an award-winning film from award-winning director, Rita Parnavosh. Cool. Awesome. And it's old, so I don't know how good the trailer will be. Um, but, in a land that time forgot. We hope so. Here we go. So it's what, 12 years old? 12 years old. Obviously, the trailer wasn't the best quality. And no. so, and also the audio was really low, so it was hard to see. Yeah. But uh, I can tell from the premise that it's a film that I think it might be something we would enjoy. I'm going to talk about John. But also him just acting. Being a Shakespearean actor. Soliloquy after soliloquy. Yeah. Uh, that, so that seems like something that I think we would enjoy. Also, is the whole thing in English? Because I didn't... Yeah. There wasn't a sub and everything we heard was yeah. English. Well, I guess that makes sense if he's doing Shakespeare. Well, it doesn't have to be. Header's in Hindi. Yeah, but it's, if, he's a, is... if he's a like a, a Shakespearean theater actor. True. Obviously, I mean, they're going to do all their stuff in... Because uh, to be a Shakespearean actor, you have to study at the theater Shakespeare. Yeah, but that doesn't mean like the, you have to be doing it, you know, like... Uh, not some rot, but wasn't that, and he was Shakespearean. Uh, yeah, it came out in 2007. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about John. Yeah, so we saw one of the actresses in Juice as well, in that one, so. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell from that, obviously, and we don't want to judge the film based off of... No, but those of you who know, out of the hundreds of big B films, is this one of those we that we did should, not uh, receive this one? Nope, not yet. But is this, should we should we watch this one? I mean, I'll watch anything he does. So yeah, and and the the, the most intriguing part outside of it just being Big B is the premise. Yeah, of, I like that idea. Of obviously we saw that uh, was it a Marathi one? The Not Some Rot. Not Some Rot was Marathi. Yeah, playing the who the that actor was playing an, an aging act. Actually, sounds like a similar type story. Is it a remake of that? I don't think so because this one involves film. This is a guy who left theater and actually starts acting again in film. Oh, kind of like, uh, what's his name from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? R Rick Moranis? Mm -hmm. 
He's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he wasn't a theater actor. He was a comedy actor. Yeah, he was barely an actor. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he started on SCTV and then went on to 80s films. Actually, and... I don't see... he's done a lot of great films. <laughs> He has done a lot of great films. It's cool to see him back. But it's not because of him, though. No, but premise, as far as, you know, it's it's um, it's Big B, and it's got theater stuff in it, so I would hope it's worth a watch. Yeah, so you're going to have to let us know down in the comment section below if this is worth a watch. Leland is calling me. That's him working on a soliloquy. <laughs> you're doing great. And then you know what he's saying? What? To pee or not to pee. Oh, he's peeing. That is the question.